Alright, what's up guys? It's your boy is still here. I'm going to be showing you how to do a uh, motion tracking in Sony Vegas uh, Pro 13. And um, so first thing you want to do is uh, grab your cinematic. This is for Call of Duty. And uh, press U and just delete the audio track. Now you can add in music if you want. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so yeah. I just have this custom on. And if it's an advanced warfare clip and it has these uh hold up. And it has these uh little spectating things on, all you have to do is come here to uh pan crop and uh just zoom in twice and you should get out of it like this. Or if you uh click this it says enable snapping right here you undo that and then you can go freely right before it goes like right there yeah about about right there and then um... that's if you have like an advanced warfare clip or cinematic for regular you won't have to worry but um... so yeah oh okay hold up Oh, you you want you have to click this one first. All right, yep, yeah, there we go. All right, you have to click the very first one to get it all the way through the clip. So as you can see, it goes through it. So where I'm gonna be right now is I'm gonna be like right here. I'm gonna hit S to split it. Uh, cut this part. I'm just going to use this part where it goes around the corner. As you can see, it goes around the corner, and then it fine, and then it centerizes. You can add a fade in like this right here, just a little bit of a fade in and a fade out. Um. So yeah, for the cinematic motion tracking. What you want to do is uh, right click, enter video track, come up here to insert, go to text media, and just type in something. I'm going to just put enjoy or whatever. And this is not 3D. This You can't do 3D in Sony Vegas. So you can just put enjoy, um, pick a color. Alright. Alright, there you go. Put it through the whole thing. And what you want to do is you come over here to the little sidebar. And uh, I had trouble with this before. If you don't see the sidebar, it's going to be like that. As you can see. So what you want to do is come over here and drag it out. So what you want to do is click this little green thing that says composting mode. Or composition mode. I don't know. And hit 3D source alpha. And that's just going to make it like where you can actually do the cinematics. You come over here and it says track motion. Now it's going to pull up this. You're going to want to make it a little bit smaller so you can see both. But yeah, this is pretty much where everything happens. Um, let's see. So now, now you just choose like where you want it. Like wherever you want it. So I'm going to want it like right here. So you click on this, you can like rotate it either sideways or this way by clicking the X axis or clicking the Y axis. You can flip it and stuff like that. And yeah, you click over here in the corner, make it bigger, smaller. I'm going to make it smaller right there and then a little bit, just a little bit tilted that way. You can see everything up here, like the tilt, and then all that. Um, let's see, so I want it there, and then at the, let's see, I find the end of the clip. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, you want to come here. Now you're going to put this here. Move the little dot there. And you're going to put this over here. And then make it oh 
or hold up. All right. Sharing it out. And now, wherever the clip ends, you're gonna you're gonna go to the very be like I just did the beginning there. Now you're gonna go to the very end and put it wherever you want it to end at. So I guess you could like put it like right here in the middle. Um, you can make it like really big right there, and then it will move to where you want it to. It's a little bit back, and yeah. So, so see as you go on, it will go like that. Unless you unless you want it like somewhere in a set place, like you click this one. You move, you, know, you click in the middle here. You move it over just a little bit. So you click back here from the beginning. You go back to the middle. All right, so come here again. Um, Make it a little bit smaller over here, a little bit more, and we put it like that. And then that's pretty much this uh, 3D effect where it's moving. Um, I mean, yeah, you, you can click here and make it bigger to make it look like it's coming at you, or you can just screw around and like put a little bit. Like you can go by step by step and then make it like better. And then if you zoom in, click this little thing right here. Oh yeah, and guys, if you can't see the background or the video, you come here and it says Sync Cruiser. If you don't do that, then you can't see the video. But if you click this, you can see the video. So then we go through. Looks pretty nice. Yep. All right. Now you, what you want to do is come to wherever it starts. Split. Cut. And then um, play. And then it zooms in like it's coming at you. That's pretty much the. That's what these little diamonds are for. They're for coming. Out. Oh yeah. And if you want to zoom out of this, you hit control. Hold control and then. Use your little in the middle of the mouse, the back and forth. Just go back and forward. You gotta hold control the whole time. So that's pretty much it with the uh, motion tracking. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it of the video. Um, let me add a fade out to that. But yeah, and guys, if you want to do a uh, if you guys want to pre-render it, I know people haven't showed you that, but um, what you do is you hit shift, hold shift, and then hit B. I don't know. <clears throat> Never mind. What you do is you hold this, and then you like hold down, and then drag over to the spot where you want. Hold down shift and press B, and then it will pre-render it. Or just do the whole thing. and then you can see your clip so yeah guys that's pretty much it about motion tracking and uh, this in Sony Vegas um, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed and peace out